Prediabetes is not only a precursor to diabetes but also a risk factor for cardiovascular diseases such as heart attacks and stroke, say medical experts. This is the reason why it is important to identify and manage the condition before it progresses to diabetes. Hello and welcome to The Print. I am Sumi Sukanya Datta and in today's special broadcast, I am going to talk about the growing risk of prediabetes and how it can be prevented from developing into full-blown diabetes. According to a study published in The Lancet, which which was carried out by the Indian Council of Medical Research and Madras Diabetes Research Foundation, 101 million people in India suffer from diabetes and are hoping 136 million from pre-diabetes. The figures cited in the study show that the country is deepening diabetes crisis and also highlight how a large number of people are on the verge of getting the life-altering metabolic disease. These people, however, may also be in a position to avoid it. According to Dr. Sachin Kumar Jain, Head of Department of Endocrinology, Amrita Hospital in Faridabad, Pre-diabetes is a condition where blood glucose levels are higher than normal but not high enough to be diagnosed as diabetes. It is a warning sign that indicates a high risk of developing diabetes in future if not controlled. While the Indian government has a health program to address and control chronic non-communicable diseases, especially cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases and stroke through the National Health Mission, the program does not single out pre-diabetes as a concern. The study published in The Lancet, which, was, which surveyed over a lakh individuals across 31 states and union territories between 2008 and 2020, showed that there are significant variations in the prevalence of diabetes and pre-diabetes across the different regions of the country. According to the study, while some states, especially in the south, such as Tamil Nadu and Kerala, have reached a saturation point in their diabetes epidemic and have seen a decline in their pre-diabetes rates, others, however, have low rates of diabetes and have a high rate of pre-diabetes. These states include Arunachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Meghalaya, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, Sikkim. The study also showed that the prevalence of pre-diabetes is higher in these states compared to others. Senior diabetologist Dr. V. Mohan pointed out that these are the states where rapid conversion of pre-diabetes to diabetes can be anticipated and regular screening and advice to prevent and reverse diabetes should not should be a priority. Although the exact reason behind pre-diabetes remains uncertain, family history and genetic factors significantly contribute to this, its development, according to Dr. Mohan. The risk factors for pre-diabetes include obesity, increased waistline, physical inactivity, advancing age and a family history of diabetes including parents and siblings. According to Dr. Arbinder Singhal, who is CEO and co-founder of Fitofly, a health tech startup that focuses on diabetes care, because of failure in capturing day-to-day -day sugar levels, diagnosis of pre-diabetes is often missed. So how exactly pre-diabetes is defined and diagnosed, we'll tell you. According to experts, Pre-diabetes refers to blood glucose levels that are higher than the normal range but below diagnostic threshold for diabetes mellitus. It encompasses impaired fasting glucose or, or IFG and impaired postprandial or after meal glucose or IGT levels. Normally, fasting levels glucose levels should be below 100 mg per dl and after meal level should be below 140 mg per dl. But if the fasting blood glucose level falls between 100 and 125 mg per dl and or 2 hours postprandial is between 140 and 199 mg per dl or the HPA1c or glycated hemoglobin level is between 5.7 and 6.4 percent, it indicates a diagnosis of prediabetes. On the other hand, diabetes is diagnosed when the fasting glucose level is 126 mg per dl or higher. The 2 hour postprandial glucose level is 200 mg per dl or higher or HbA1c level is 6.5 percent or higher. According to Dr. Mohan, those who have combined IFG and IGT tend to progress faster to diabetes. Pre-diabetes usually does not cause any specific symptoms or signs, but some people may notice darkening of the skin areas such as neck, armpits and groin, which is called acanthosis nigra consa. Pre-diabetes patients also frequently experience fluctuations in sugar levels with highs exceeding the baseline by more than 60 points and lows dropping 20 points below it. 
These fluctuations can result from unhealthy lifestyle habits and poor food choices, causing spikes in blood sugar levels. Also, Asians are more prone to developing prediabetes. Moreover, in women, if there is a history of gestational diabetes, which is diabetes during pregnancy, or if they have polycystic ovarian disease or PCOD, they are predisposed to develop prediabetes according to experts. Prediabetes is a crucial not only because it's precursor to diabetes, but also because it predisposes people to cardiovascular diseases like heart attacks and strokes, experts also say. Several studies, including those from India, have shown that by lifestyle modification such as diet, exercise and weight reduction, where relevant prediabetes can revert to normal and can be prevented from progressing to the diabetes stage. For Indians, this would mean reducing the intake of calories, especially carbohydrates, increasing the intake of protein and fiber in the diet and adding a lot of non-starchy green leafy vegetables as well as some fruit in the diet. Doctors say that exercise is also important and it may be really important to have a regular walk or jog or swim at least 5 to 6 days a week. In addition, muscle building exercises also called resistance training are also very important. That's all we have in today's broadcast. Thank you so much for watching.